All right, guys, what I want to talk to you about here today is like getting started on our duck calling tutorials here. There's a lot of random things that people do wrong on a duck call. So what I want to do is start you out on the right path. So what I have here is a single read from Mulk Gear. It's an old river man. It's a very easy call to blow. And as I blow a note like this on my duck call, I notice that my tongue is like right at the roof of my mouth and each quack or greeting call that comes out, my tongue is coming down and coming back up. So the really important thing about duck calling in order to sound like multiple ducks or just one really good duck is the separation of each and every single note, just like in the goose call as well. So when you position your tongue in that certain way, your tongue isn't all the way down here at the bottom of your mouth. It is right there at the roof of your mouth. And so this has helped a lot of people as I'm teaching them lessons. Just you don't need to go like this with your tongue every time you make a note. It will help you so much in your duck calling. It might take a little bit to get out of the habit of as you're duck calling and goose calling, but I promise you, you will be better for it. So what a lot of people do wrong when they duck call is they grunt a lot. So they go hey, 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 when they are blowing into the duck call to get that nice raspy noise. When in reality, just like the goose call, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is hum. And then make sure that your tongue is hitting the roof of your mouth. So like when I'm doing the quack, that's just me humming into the call. If I try to grunt, in my opinion, the first one sounds a lot better, but this call is so good that it both, they both kind of sound all right. But you want to have nice, consistent air and you want to push from your diaphragm, just like you would for your goose calling. So you're not grunting and you are pushing from your diaphragm. The next thing you need to do is take the tongue to the bottom row of your teeth like this and you just slowly bring the tongue up to the roof of your mouth. And I, when I say your tongue up to the roof of your mouth, I don't mean the very back part of your tongue. You can use any part of your tongue except for the tip, but I'm pushing my tongue into like the top row of my teeth, essentially is what I'm doing. And so when I'm doing a quack, I'm saying and then the tongue cuts off the note at the roof of my mouth. Here's what it sounds like. So you just got to play around with your duck call a little bit and you just got to go cut it off with the roof of your mouth. The other thing that I really notice that a lot of people do wrong is they don't know how to put any sort of inflection into their call. So when I'm blowing into my goose call and I'm doing a greeting call just like this. Um, here's what I'm doing with my throat. I'm actually constricting my throat a little bit. So like you're about to get hit in the throat, you just kind of purse up in your whole, you just kind of clench. Like when you're gonna yell, your throat constricts itself to push out more air. Same thing with a duck call. And the other thing about a duck call, you can pretty much relate everything to the old nursery rhyme, three blind mice. That's exactly how I learned how to call. You go, Oof, oof, oof. Um, I pretty much relate everything to three blind mice, especially when doing the greeting call on the duck call, which is the most used note you're gonna use on your duck call other than the feeding chuckle. So this is just kind of like an introductory video, but when I say three blind mice, I go three blind mice. So top, middle, low. But you notice I'm not saying three blind mice, three blind mice. I'm actually putting inflection as I'm saying it. Three blind mice. So I'm sure you've heard it. Some buddies in the duck blind go. <laughs> Sounds like crap, you know? So you need to stop each note as well as using actual inflection because a duck will start at the high end of the spectrum and work its way down. So that's pretty much my intro to duck calling. Hopefully it helps you guys out. We're gonna have a lot more of these tutorials like going in how to do the feeding chuckle, the greeting call, um, both different types of feeding chuckles, how to do the bouncing hen again, how to do uh, the Cajun squeal, bunch of other videos coming, so stay tuned.